Hey out there, I'm Mr. C, and today I want to talk to you about single digit addition. Not in the traditional sense that you might be thinking, okay? I'm not talking about adding on your fingers here. I'm talking about single digit addition, meaning one digit plus one digit, and coming to that answer with automaticity. That means seeing the question and knowing the answer very quickly. It's important. And I'll tell you why, because of course you're going to ask, Mr. C, why is this important? Your brain, if you're counting on your fingers to add single digits, your brain is wasting a lot of space. Okay, You need to get to a point where when you look at these single digit addition problems, you can know the answer quickly. Otherwise, when we move on to next steps math, when you're using addition and subtraction, all sorts of different ways, it's gonna bog your brain down. Okay? Your brain needs to be thinking about other more complex things in mathematics, not about the answers to single digit addition problems. So it's important that you do one of two things. You either come up with little tricks in your head to come upon the answer very quickly, or you memorize them so that when you look at the problem, you know the answer. Okay, Both of those things will work. I'm going to show you a trick that I use when I am doing single digit addition in my head. I don't have these facts memorized. I use my sums to 10. Do you know your sums to 10? You should. If you're one of my students, you've already mastered your sums to 10 if you're watching this video. I want to show you how knowing your sums to 10 can help you with all sorts of single digit addition. Look at this problem. 7 plus 5. You know, Mr. C, that's not a sum to 10. I know 7 plus 3 is 10, and I know 5 plus 5 is 10. 7 plus 5 is not 10. Correct. You're correct. But you can use your knowledge of that to come upon this answer quickly, more quickly than if you're adding on your fingers. Okay? So what I do is, listen carefully, I take the large number of the two. Okay? So 7 is larger than 5. So that's the one that I start with in my head. Okay, now I add my complementing factor of 10. So 7 plus what equals 10? You should know that. It's 3, right? 7 plus 3 equals 10. So now what I do is just very quickly, I've gotten quick and fast at this in my brain, I find the difference between these two numbers, 5 and 3. What's the difference? How much larger is 5 than 3? If I take 3 away from 5, what's left? It's 2, okay? So you say, well, well, so? Now all I have to do is add that number to 10. That's my answer. Really look at this. What is really the difference between 7 plus 5 or 7 plus 3 plus 2? Well, 3 plus 2 is 5. So you're getting, you're doing the same thing. I just break it up quickly in my head to make it easier on my brain because I know my facts to 10 very readily. So I do 7 plus 3 plus 2 instead of 7 plus 5. It's the same answer. Look, 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 2 is 12. And I'll do it the slow way for you to show you that it's the right answer. 7 plus 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That might be the way you're doing it now. Not a good way to do it. Okay, abandon that way. Try this way. All right, let's, let's do it again. I want to show you how I would do it with the problem 8 plus 8. All right, well, I write down the larger of the two numbers. Well, that's easy. They're the same size. And then I add the complementing factor. 8 plus what equals 10? It's 8 plus 2, right? 8 plus 2 equals 10. Now, what's the difference between 8 and 2? If I take 2 away from 8, what do I have left? It's 6. So now, instead of adding 8 plus 8, my brain is going to add 8 plus 2 quickly. That's 10. And then add 10 plus 6 quickly. That's also easy. It's 16. Should I do it the slow way to show you? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right? I got the right answer, but I did it more quickly by knowing factors to 10. Let's do it one more time, and then I want you to try it yourself. Okay? This one I made slightly tricky because I put the large number on the other side. My brain always starts with the large number. Always, always, always. Because I think it's easier to find the complementing factor to 10 if you are starting with the large number. That's just my brain. Maybe your brain works differently and you can find a fast way to do it differently. Okay? So I start with the large one. Then I add the complementing factor. Okay? So 9 plus what equals 10? It's 1. 
right? Well, that's easy. Okay, well, what's the difference between six and one? If I take one away from six, what do I have left? Five. So nine plus one equals 10 plus five equals 15. Let's check it the slow way one last time. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Got the right answer, but I did it more quickly because I know my sums to 10 and I'm leveraging that knowledge. I'm using that knowledge in, in more difficult math concepts, okay? I want you to try this. Don't give up if it's difficult at first. It might take a while for your brain to get used to this, but I bet if you practice this way in your head, not on paper so much, but in your head, practice doing this in your head, you are gonna get faster at single digit addition, which you need to do in order to move on to the next level. All right, let's, let's quickly go over what we learned today. Obviously, knowing your additives to 10 is huge and it can be helpful. This isn't the last time that that's gonna be helpful. Knowing your additives to 10 are, is gonna be helpful down the road more and more often. And so is mastering and memorizing single digit addition. Um, Obviously, knowing it with automaticity is gonna make other things easier. When you start doing multiple digit addition, if you uh, know single digit addition in your head quickly with automaticity, well then that multiple digit addition is gonna be a cakewalk. So spend some time right now, either figuring out a trick in your head to answer these questions quickly or memorizing all these facts, okay? I know that it doesn't sound exciting, but it is crucial and it is important to your careers in math. Let's try it, okay? I want you to try this concept on eight plus nine, and then I want you to try five plus six, use, use your, your facts to 10 to answer seven plus seven, and then four plus nine. And I want you to do it in your head, not on paper, and no fingers, okay? Keep your fingers in your armpits because I want, you to, I want your brain to start practicing how to do this quickly. If you're one of my students, I'm gonna kick you into some serious skills practice on this starting right now. If you are not one of my personal students, you need to do this yourself, okay? Practice 100 different single digit addition problems until you can really start doing it quickly and in your own head before you move on to the next step of your math career. I hope this helped. I know it's gonna help if you put in the time to figure this stuff out. And I will see you next time.